Hello and welcome back to John Bill's Iconic Village Malls. Okay, as you can see, I've got the uh, the 172 scale HMS Victory by Caldercraft on the uh, on the bench today. For a lot of people that don't know, I've just recently been there, uh, well, recently received this kit from somebody I work with who's asked me if I can uh, finish it off. I did have a little video about three weeks ago where I kind of showed it where it was at the time I received it, and I've just done a little bit of an update and I just want to uh, talk through some of all the, the little bits that I've, I've done to it now. To, so now I can get it to the uh, the next stage. I'll just take these, these are loosely placed on at the minute. Yeah, so what I've been focusing on this last uh, last month really was just pretty much getting all these guns pretty much to obviously built, painted, and included into play. So like I say, with, the, this, with this kit, it does actually tell you to uh, rig the entire 30 guns that go on this deck, but it's a little bit of uh, obviously saving time. I only actually really just focused on rigging the 10 that you can be seeing as you're looking obviously through the through the weather deck even though they'll probably barely even be able to see this once all the uh, the launch is on as well but yeah like i say I mean, a lot of people do actually go to the uh the uh the, well, the extremes of uh, rigging them all and that's uh that's entirely up to yourself but it actually to, to, i mean to build and uh obviously rig these 10 and build these I think I had about 25 to build. It took me around about uh, three weeks, spending about two hours an evening, and that's how long it took me. So to actually me to rig another uh, 20 cans, I think it would have take, taken me at least another two weeks more. So that's why I decided to go just down that route of uh, rigging the 10. And also I just reworked all this, uh, this section here. I just broke off the columns I just repainted them and I just glued these back on. I also just re-changed all the, uh, the little baluster rails as well, the little handrails. That one wasn't finished, obviously, so I finished that one off. So if you look at the, uh, the last video, you'll actually see how it, it looked before. Yeah, so it's been quite enjoyable. This is quite a really uh, nice kit. So I'm at the stage now, though, where can't really do much else. It's, uh, it's like I said in the, uh, the video previously. This is a kit that's actually been now. This is I'm the third person to work on this, and the, uh, the obviously the person who was giving it me, there was a uh, the kit was really really mixed up. There was parts everywhere. It was actually it was actually came all the rest of the parts came in a different box as well. It came in the Rolly Soil box. So the guy who sold it, I don't think he really knew what he uh, what he had. So I've been through all the parts and I've realised just how much there is actually missing is there's a lot missing so i've actually made a full list and i've given it to the uh the, the guy i work with who owns this kit and he's uh he's messaged caldercraft and then i'm going to send him a full which is really quite good like i, mean, I think there's about over 200 parts that need uh need sending so yeah they're going to obviously not at a cost they're going to send them out but at least we can then uh, move the build forward because there's a lot of, like I say, there's a lot of things like you don't really understand how, how these can be lost. Because well, obviously as I was starting to work on this kit and getting my head around it, I started to realise that obviously when I went and put this next deck on, and then there's some more of these little uh, supports that obviously go quite, I think there's about four, four or five more here, and then there's another one that fits on for the, uh, the poop deck as well. So these are actually really nice because as a lot of people know, obviously, we've been watching me build my uh, 184 scale HMS Victory. These actually come curved, so that's quite nice because then you're going to get that nice curved uh, curved deck effect. So yeah, I really, I really like that. Yeah, so once I've got that, I've then obviously I've got this this deck. This is going to slide on. This is all like so. This is what has been built by somebody else, and this deck slides on. And then we get another piece that goes here as well. <laughs> like I said, I mean, that actual laser cut part is actually missing as well. So I don't really know how, you, how you'd lose a part that big. But yeah, there is that to come. So what I've decided is this is this was made around about six years ago. So and I'm, I'm concerned that when I start putting this next deck on and then trying to uh, replank it, I mean, I'd already broken off the uh, 
the hatches as well because I was going to re replace all the hatches with some uh, some uh, walnut, a lot of darker wood rather than what the woods in the minute. So my concern is once I start to plank it, that because this has been done six years ago and there's, there's a few gaps, that I'd really struggle to, to match it up. And I, I was concerned that even down the line, it's still, you'd clearly be able to see, even though I, well, obviously, uh, I'll, I'll stay in it, as I can say with this. I was just concerned that you'd really be able to see the difference between the two, the, the old and the new that I started to do. <coughs> so seeing as we had to order a, a, new, a new deck here, I've asked Dave just to uh, order a new front deck as well. So I'll fit this in one continuous piece and deck it in one continuous piece rather than how this has been half decked and then carry on decking as well. And it, like I say, it's not really that much work to be fair because as you can see, everything else really needed doing with this deck. There was only uh, there was only these parts and these are not really that hard. They're all laser cut so they're easy to slip in. So yeah, so that's me thinking with that. And I thought also as well, why I'm in the process and I should be able to show you the uh, the process of actually decking the uh, the full deck. So then also oh, then really all it is then there's is some more parts that obviously need fitting in here as well that are actually missing. But these all I say these are all laser cut so you're pretty much just popping them out and then they'll get fitted in. It's obviously my uh, hatred victory. Every single part that is I had to uh, kind of hand make. So yeah, it'd be a uh, as actual time purposes, it'd be a lot easier to actually uh, to work on this HS Victory rather than there when everything has to be made by hand, it just takes so long. And then I said, This I'm actually this the poop deck's been done, I quite like that, so I'm actually going to leave that. I'm not going to reach, I'm not going to change that. That's obviously it's, it's been uh, built to really a nice standard, so I'm going to uh, leave that. But like I say, once I've put this, this next deck on, then I can work on all the uh obviously officers quarters and then obviously like the frontiers obviously the, uh, the, the the pinnacle and the ship's wheel and then i need to start putting obviously these bulwark sides on as well and these are like say another laser cut part so they just slip over the top obviously you have to build up the sides of the bulwarks and then you can slip them on but yeah i'm thinking about maybe adding all the detail on these first and then just gluing the bulwark into place so yeah i think that's uh, the way i'm going to go forward with this one but yeah, I wasn't going to do too much with this kit because uh, I've kind of already done it before with my victory. But because the kits are so uh, dissimilar and the, the construction methods are completely different, then I'll probably actually film a little bit more on this uh, this victory than I'd planned. So pretty much uh, that's all really I've, I've been doing. Like I say, it's, it's a time-consuming job when you've got, I mean, 30 cannons to do. It's... Uh, it takes a, a long time. But what I'm, what I'm going to do as well, why I'm waiting for the parts to come, is why I'm, which I made a mistake before, and I think it's probably a good technique for most people to use, is when you've uh, got, got like a bit of a system going out to rig the cannons, and then I think it's probably a good idea to actually try and do rig all your cannons at the same time, because we've got, we've got six more cannons that sit on this next deck above. So I'm thinking why I'm kind of still fresh in my mind, how I'd rigged them, I'll do these other ones as well. So, and I think it's, it's I think it's probably a good technique to do that in the, all your ship only because I think when I did mine, I think it was almost about three years later before I actually rigged the cannons to sit on the top deck. And you kind of forgot the technique. So yeah, while the technique's fresh in my mind, I'm gonna do all, all the rest. So yeah, pretty much all I've got to say today. I just wanted to do a little bit in the, uh, a bit of a quick update, let you know exactly what's going on. There's so much to do on the ship, but I actually think it's a lot on it is uh, it's, it's made, so you're just kind of fitting them really. So I just think it'd be a lot quicker to uh, progress this build and get to the next, get to the stage where my victory was, and then we can get onto the uh, the rigging. So anyway, just uh, if you can let, let me know what you think to the uh, the new camera. I'm actually trying to. Uh, the camera in 4k for the first time because i want to really try and show people the uh, the sharp detail so yeah if you can let me know what the uh, the, the quality of the uh, the picture is please and uh, i'll see you all again so we'll probably have another update in around about uh two to three weeks and when i start off the well if, as soon as i get received these parts in the next uh, probably next week or this week i'll start building this va engine so anyway thank you all for watching and i'll see you all again soon